Have you ever done a full curly hair routine but using only one brand? That's what we're gonna be trying out today. Somehow the amazing brand Jessie Curl decided to send me a literal entire package worth of goodies which is like the most amazing thing ever to happen to me so far on this channel. Thank you so much Jessie Curl. I thought I would do a little unboxing of this for you guys and show you first everything that they gave me and then we're gonna get right into the hair tutorial. Just take a look at that. Look at that volume. So they first wrote me this little note, which was super sweet. I don't have to read it all, but thank you for the note. They got me this gentle lather shampoo, which I'm really excited to try out. This spiralicious styling gel, a conditioning oil blend, which I think is for when you like scrunch out your curls. They gave me this comb, which is really sweet. I actually needed one for my shower. So this is perfect to like hang up in my shower. And then they actually asked me what my hair type was. So they gave me like a custom set of curly hair products that are like like for my hair type, which is amazing. And they came in this cute little carrying bag. So this says that it's the Rich and Radiant Collection step-by-step. -step. So I think all of these products kind of go together in like a step-by-step -step process. Whoa, okay, so it has like a whole instruction list on how you're supposed to use them all. So within these products, they gave me a deep conditioning treatment, which is the Scent Island Fantasy, which I got to pick. I'm super excited for smelling like I'm on a tropical vacation. That sounds great. They also gave me this hair cleansing cream. This looks fun. A awe-inspired refresher spray which is perfect for like the days that I don't want to fully redo my hair but it needs a little like moisturizing refresher this touche extra moisturizing conditioner I'm assuming it has shea butter in it this rock and ringlet styling potion they gave me this confident coils styling solution so this is for like all different climates and you can use it just for a plethora of different styling techniques which is great and then lastly i've actually been using this product already <laughs> they also gave me this awesome microfiber towel which is great because oftentimes when i finish my hair routine i have wet hair and then i need to like run around and do laundry or whatever i'm doing and i can just wrap my wet hair up before i diffuse it so i love having this it ties really securely onto my head and yeah it's wonderful so i'm not going to be using every product obviously because they sent me a ton of stuff but i am going to be using just a few of them in my routine to try out i also already did a hair wash today and shampooed so i'm not going to be using the shampoo i'm actually going to be diving straight into conditioning first also actually before i do this i think i'm going to change shirts just because i don't like getting my nice shirts super wet so i will be right back so first things first, I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to fill this up with water because some of my hair is like a little dry because I put it in a braid a while ago. So I'm just going to re-wet it so it's like ready to get styled. I love these spray bottles. If you don't have one, definitely go get one. So my hair is feeling pretty adequately wet now. And I'm going to start out with their Touche Extra Moisturizing Conditioner. And it says for this one, apply conditioner as if you were putting your hair in a ponytail. Finger comb through length of hair and let sit for three to five minutes. Gently comb with a wide tooth comb, rinse well. Rinse well is interesting because I've never done that before. Usually I'm used to having conditioners that like stay in my hair, so interesting. So I will put this in and I'll rinse it out after three to five minutes. Smell test, ooh. Kind of like vanilla -y. I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna use like, let's do about that much. So it said to do it as if I was putting in a ponytail. So kind of like this, I guess. So then it says to finger comb through my hair. I actually might do a little bit more because I feel like I didn't really do that much. So let me do a little bit more just to get the full effect. So I'm gonna do a little more, apply it again like I am putting my hair up in a ponytail. Okay, so now we're gonna finger comb it through. And my hair was already a little bit detangled for me showering earlier, so it's pretty easy to get through today. For the full effect, I think I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and then I will come back and rinse it out. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and now it says to comb through my hair with the wide tooth comb. So I'm gonna use this comb and really comb it through. Feels so nice. Also, this comb is so pretty. Like, I didn't realize just how beautiful it was until I opened it. It does feel more moisturized, I will say. And it is really slipping through my hair really quickly. 
So I feel like it did a good job of conditioning my hair and it feels like it really helped to get my hair moisturized enough to make detangling a lot easier. Now it says to rinse well, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this all out of my hair. All right, I got that rinsed out as much as I possibly could. I really, really tried to get up into my scalp and everything. For the next step, I'm gonna be using the Rockin' Ringlets Styling Potion. Flip your hair upside down, pour a puddle of Rockin' Ringlets into the palm of your hand, rub hands together, and gently rake your outstretched fingers through your wet hair three to four times. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip over my hair and I'm going to take the rock and ringlets like they said and make a little puddle. I was not expecting it to be brown. I feel like this is a puddle and then I'm supposed to rub it between my hands. It kind of smells like the inside of a like Tootsie Pop. Okay so I'm supposed to rake this through my hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and rake it as much as I can. My hair really likes to dry it quickly too if I don't use any product, so I might actually need to add a little water. Like you can tell right here, it's kind of getting dry. And because I have a lot of hair, I'm actually going to go back in with the rocking ringlets and I'm going to add in a little more. So I'm going to do another little puddle. That between my fingers and rake it through. Yum, that smell is so good. It's so unique. I don't think I've ever smelled anything like it. Like, it does smell like Island Fantasy, but I smell like a fruity, like, Tootsie Pop smell. Like, it smells like an orange Tootsie Pop, which is my personal favorite flavor. So now that that part is done, it says to use a microfiber towel. Cup a handful of curls in your palm and gently squeeze while lifting up towards your scalp. Repeat the scrunching lightly all over your hair to remove excess water without jeopardizing your curl pattern. I'm going to be taking my full length microfiber towel and I'm going to be doing as they say and getting excess water out of my hair by scrunching up lightly and I'm going to be really careful about not squeezing too hard and being too aggressive. I just want it to be getting excess moisture out but not making my hair like frizzy or losing any moisture. Ooh, also look at those pretty curls starting to really come in. And I feel like I've gotten a good amount of that moisture out. It's not dripping anymore, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. Here is what it's looking like from the back. So it says for more hold, which is what I want, rake confident coil styling solution evenly throughout hair after rock and ringlets has been applied and generously scrunch to encourage curl. This will ensure that your curls stay well defined without puffing out later in the day. Okay, so I'm gonna take the confident coils and I'm gonna take a little bit of it. I'm really excited to try this. Also, all of these colors are so exciting every time they come out for the first time. This one's like pinky, also smells so good. And what I like to do is kind of take it and put it on the outside of my hair first and then kind of like do this. This is actually kind of interesting too because I don't tend to ever use a microfiber towel in the middle of my hair routine. So I'm curious how this is gonna turn out. Personally, I might wait until the end to get the excess moisture out because sometimes I can make my hair a little frizzier than what I want. But we're gonna follow their instructions and we're gonna see how this is supposed to work. I also might have just gotten out a little bit too much moisture from my hair with the towel, like more than they were intending for me to, but it's okay. I can also just like add water to my hair if I want to. Okay, so I kind of got that throughout my hair. And now I'm gonna scrunch it a little bit just to encourage more curl. And I do have pretty thick hair, so I'm gonna go back in with another little pump of that. We're gonna really encourage that scrunchiness to come up. I'm excited to see if this gives me more volume because sometimes that will happen when my hair is a little drier toward the end. Okay, so since my hair is looking pretty good at this point, I'm good to dry. So I'm gonna diffuse my hair and I will come back and show you guys the final result. I'll also give you a little before so you can see the full before hair. Nice and wet and ready to get diffused. So I just finished diffusing my hair. It might still look wet, but it actually just has this nice cast over it. So it is very ready to get scrunched. I'm really liking the volume up in the front and just overall 
I feel like my hair is going to turn out really voluminous, which I'm really excited to see. I'm actually going to be using the oil blend that they sent me to scrunch out my curls because I feel like it's perfect for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit. I usually don't need a lot of this, otherwise it can make my hair look really greasy. And I'm just going to rub it between my palms like this and then start kind of just getting it all over my hair and then scrunching out that firm cast that I've got going on. And I'm already starting to see some gorgeous curls starting to form. Wow, the volume is really looking nice. Self-admittedly, I tend to be more of a definition person than a voluminous person, just because I feel like it really makes my curls pop and shine when you can really see the definition. But I really do feel like this step-by-step -step process kind of gave me both. Like I can see the defined curls really well, but my hair also feels a lot more voluminous than it can sometimes when I do my own curly hair styling routine. Look at the definition and like just all of that volume that I already have. It's so beautiful. Wow, just take a look at that. Look at that volume. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am impressed. It looks so good. Like, are you kidding me at this volume? Are you kidding me? That's beautiful. How gorgeous did that turn out? Wow. This one curl really wants to do its own thing, which I'm just gonna let it be. <laughs> I'll show you guys what it looks like from the back too. Definitely go check out Jessie Curl. Thank you again to Jessie Curl for giving me all of these amazing products that was beyond generous and i am so grateful if you guys are interested in watching a deep conditioning routine which i didn't show you in this video but i find to be really important i will put a video here for you guys to watch i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next friday bye